Hello everybody and welcome to this club guide video for the festive cup tournament this video is sponsored by golf clash and play demic let's start then so in this club guide i'm going to as always give you brief tips uh, on how uh, on which clubs i do feel is the best one or like key clubs i would have to say for the specific holes and also some quick information about the holes itself if you do want to watch like the the whole guides or the playthroughs you can find that in the video description down below you can find direct links to those um to those holes there and those are better in terms of like knowing how to play the courses so this is going to be more focused about the clubs also going to add a little bit with the ba balls and stuff like that before i start here with rookie division do not forget to subscribe to the channel be a sub if you're watching on um if you watch and you do have a patron or maybe you do want to have a training session you want maybe to get the text guys before anyone else check out patreon.com slash golf clash tommy so let's start rookie division we can practice all these holes on tour number six the us champions tour that has a cost of thirty thousand coins per game something to have in mind we play from the front tee which is going to be a big change of course from playing uh, rookie and then pro and expert as we play from second tee there or maybe the and also the 30 when it comes to master hole number one we're going to play with a long iron city park part three and we're play, going to play with the backbone or the saturn i do like to have a club with the, at least four bars of backspin then the backbone or the saturn is going to be the club we aim straight at the pin and gain that hole in one hole number two city park part four very tough part four the big dog is preferred in my opinion uh, we could be okay with a viper as well but the only thing that i want us to think about is that let's say we make a bad drive then we have a lot of yards towards the pin and then we need to compensate that with having the big dog so we do not risk too much if we make a bad drive hole three city park part five here i say the big dog again and big dog is going to be uh, featured a lot in this club guide for rookie as we do have some very long par um uh, par fives and par fours and here we do have the big dog we cannot reach the screen in two but it's important for the second shot we do have some distance uh, a power like you can play with a power zero ball here if you want to but the big dog is going to be important there hole number four city par par three here is the backbone if you have it unlocked play with a backbone otherwise choose the other long iron that you have and you feel most comfortable with but the backbone with the accuracy and the ball guideline is definitely going to help you get close for hole number four Hole and number five, here I only have a driver, here I have the extra mile, and the reason I'm having the extra mile here is that I, we do want to have a little bit of distance with our driver, so we can go and play over the rough and the sand on the left. With a quarterback we won't be able to do that, with an extra mile you can play with a power one ball, then you are golden. Second shot you're going to have a short iron or a long iron, then you go off to your personal preference, so you know that you have a good shot for the eagle there. Hole at number six, big dog again, part five, very important with the big dog here. As for the second shot, it's going to be crucial with some distance. So the big dog is going to be the club that we're going to go with here. Hole seven, city park, part four. Here I do have the big dog. This big dog, I would have to say that I should be adding the viper here as well. Because the big dog, if we do make a good drive, we definitely have a way, way room to play with a lower, a lower level or like a lower distance wood club. The big dog is there to again compensate for if we make a bad drive or maybe cut the rough and have a long distance towards the pin, then the big dog could be preferred there. But have in mind, add the viper there as well. Take a look at the win when the tournament starts and then we choose from there. Hole number eight, Saturn and, or, no, not and, but Saturn or the backbone and here uh, we do need backspin we do need to have at least uh, four bars of backspin in crosswind and headwind if i do have tailwind we do need five at least so choose the long iron with the most backspin also in when it comes to rookie you need to play with at least a power one ball if we do uh, sorry with a power two ball if we do have headwind if you're going to choose saturn or backbone otherwise we will have to go with the goliath and goliath is most likely in such a low level that we do not have that man much backspin hole number nine city part part five we uh, we end up with a part five as normal here and this is going to be tough we do need distance for the second shot and that is again to to just make sure that if we do make a lower like 
a, a worse drive or a shorter drive than we maybe are aiming for, then we need to have the big dog. But also, if we're making just a normal guy, a, a normal play, and we maybe have crosswind or, t or headwind for the second shot, then we need the big dog as well. So, rookie division, there we have it. There we have it. And let's go and focus on pro and expert here. Pro and expert, that's of course going to change big time. It's still going to be the same type of featuring in terms of like, we do need distance on many of the holes. And and some of the sometimes we're going to have key clubs. Like for example, hole number eight has, has one absolute key club. I'm going to take you over here by starting with saying that you cannot practice any of these holes in the regular tour play. And why you maybe wonder, I don't know, but it is <laughs> it is like that. So you can only watch guides for it before to get as prepared as possible for the tournament, playing from the second tee. And again, check the whole guides down below and check them out so you do get an idea on how to play them if you do not have the experience from playing in them before. Hole number one, we do have the Goliath or the Saturn, depends on what you uh, are uh, comfortable with. I play with Goliath, but there will be those that are playing with the Saturn, but also with the backbone. And we aim a little bit left of the bunker, that the first bunker, aiming straight at the pin. And let's uh, go for the hole in one. And City Park part four for hole number two, important with distance here, very important. And Big Dog or the Cataclysm, because when we're playing in pro or maybe expert, we're going to have lower level Cataclysm. And sometimes that is going to be better to play with than the, uh, the Big Dog level level four, level five. On hole two, important to play with a power three ball, important in my opinion. City Park part five, here we do have the Big Dog and the Cataclysm as well, power three ball, and maybe a power five ball, depending on the wind that we're going to have. If we do have chain wind, then it's a power five ball that is going to be preferred, because then we're going to try to clear the rough. If you do have wind with a power four, five ball, that is less than seven miles per hour, then don't go for it, because you're not going to reach over the rough, whatever you do. So unfortunately, that's going to be the case. Hole number four, city park part three. Here we go with, again, personal preference here for what long are we going to play with. It's going to be the Goliath or the Backbone, in my opinion. Goliath gives you the distance, so you're going to be able to play with the Goliath even with headwind. If you do have a Backbone and maybe you're playing with a Power Zero Ball with a lower, like with more wind resistance, then you're going to, in headwind, most likely going to be in between clubs. So have that in mind, that tiny, tiny little piece there so if headwind be cautious uh, be cautious of uh, what club you're going to use but overall the goliath or the backbone should be good hole number five the thorn and the sniper i want to have in our bag here and the reason is the following if we do have some massive headwind and we cannot reach over without having a big struggle over the bunker on the right then we can lay up short and go for the rough bump with the sniper which is a very good opportunity and something that is going to be featured in Master a lot. If we do have crosswind or tailwind so we can bounce over all the obstacles with no problem, then we do have the thorn for the pin and that opportunity is going to be big. And the hornet of course will be good to play with as well. But you know me, I love the thorn! I love the thorn! Hole number six, city part part five. Distance again, big dog or the cataclysm. Don't, don't have to say much about hole number six. We, we just need this, especially for the second shot. Hole number seven, sniper or the guardian. We're going to have a wood club, and here we're going to have enough distance with the sniper or the guardian. Personal preference, what do you prefer to play with? I go sniper for that accuracy in the ball guideline. Guardian works as well, but most of the time for going directly on the green with the guardian. But if you want to bounce it, I would say sniper. Hole eight, key, key club, guardian. No matter what type of win we're going to have, then we can play directly on the green with max backspin. So, Guardian is going to be the club, even if you have it in level 2, level 3, level 4, and you have your sniper level 10, then you go Guardian anyway, because of the backspin. Hole number 9, Cataclysm, or the big dog. Again, we need to make sure that we can have a shot for the green in 2, with even a lousy drive. Sure, if you feel absolutely spot on with your drive, and you can reach to the position every single time, then you can play with whatever wood club you you want. But if we do want to make sure that we do save up, so we can read for the green too, then we need to play with Cataclysm or the Big Dog to give ourselves the distance there. 
Last but not least, we do have Master. And Master, we're playing from the third team. And all these holes are going to be very tough from the third team. And we're going to need even more distance than we needed from the second team and also from the front team. You can actually practice all these holes on tour number 11, the Voyager Tour. The problem with the Voyager Tour is that it's mixed up together with four, there are three other uh, type of courses. So it's going to be very tough for you to get all, uh, all the holes to play. So I'm going to start off with hole number one. Here is going to be Goliath or the Guardian. If we do have headwind, then it's going to be a wood club play. And then I like to go with the Guardian, go directly onto the green, make sure that I'm stay there, but also give my good way for uh, an hole in one. All other type of wind, I'm going to play with the Goliath, bounce myself towards the pin, giving my me I, again a good opportunity for an hole in one. Hole two. The only club here for me is the Cataclysm. If you have it, the Cataclysm level four plus, don't change. If you have the level three and you have the big dog level eight, then you go big dog level eight. If you have the big dog level seven and Cataclysm level three, you go Cataclysm level three. But so most of the time, or like basically every single time, the Cataclysm if you play Master. Hole three, big dog or the Cataclysm. Here you do want to go with the Cataclysm. Again, the same type of structure as hole number two. Cataclysm, if you do have it in level 4+, plus, if you do have it in level 3 or below, then you need to have the big dog in level 8 to choose the big dog, otherwise you choose the Cataclysm uh, overall. Hole number 4, part 3, Guardian or the Sniper here. We're going to bounce ourselves towards the pin. And sure, with the rocket maybe we can go directly on the, on the green to go at the pin. Uh, and the wind, of course, decides that a lot. But we have been playing this hole in a couple of tournaments now. And bouncing with the Sniper on the first piece of fairway up towards the pin has been given many players and hole in one and that is what i'm looking for here as well hole number five the apocalypse and the sniper and again here is the difference like in master if we do have crosswind we can with a power four ball clear everything by bouncing over tough drive as we go we need to go max over power no matter what type of level you have with apocalypse if we do have tailwind then we can actually go for a hook shot towards the pin yeah cool uh, and if we do have some crosswind slash tailwind, then we don't need to go max overpower. If we do have headwind then, then we need to lay up uh, close to the first piece of uh, rough and the bunker. Then we go with the sniper for a second shot, go for the rough bump uh, towards the pin to try to make an eagle from distance. Hole number six, uh, city part part five here as the other division, we need distance for the second shot. If we're not having a massive tailwind, so we can try go for green in one, then we're going to have the big dog or the cat cataclysm in the bag. And that's the same as I said for hole two and hole three. Cataclysm level four plus, then you don't change. Otherwise, big dog level eight. Uh, if you have the big dog level seven as, as most, then you go with cataclysm no matter what type of level you are going to have. Hole number seven, sniper or the guardian. Again, we're going to have the same type of approach many of the times uh, from 30 as well. The only difference here is that the driver is going, drive is going to be longer than from the second tee. So sniper or the guardian. Uh, whatever you feel comfortable with. Hole number eight, the quarterback or the garden here, it kind of depends on what type of win we're going to have, to be honest. The garden is going to be most likely be the club if we're not having a massive headwind, because then we're going to be in between clubs and we all want to try to play with at least a win three ball and like win four, win five ball will also be preferred. Then we could play with a quarterback with those that backspin or we could play with a rocket with that backspin. But most of the time it's going to be our guardian here to play for hole number eight. Hole number nine, City Park, par five. We do need the, the distance here for hole number uh, hole number nine. But again, if you feel comfortable enough to make that drive, so you'll be on fairway all the time and gain that distance that you need for your drive, then you're going to uh, be able to play with a sniper if you want to as well. But to just make sure that we do have the Cataclysm as the big, and the big dog as a suggestion. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching this video about the clubs. I know it's a general club guide and sometimes it's not going to apply for your clubs. That's why we do have the comment section below. That's why we have the team page on Facebook as well. That you can ask questions directly to, to me and to uh, the team. And 
Also, you, we have Golf Clash United as well. We can jump in, ask a question if you feel uncomfortable. We are here to help. That's the important part. The video here is sponsored by Golf Clash and Playdemic. Good luck in the Festive Cup tournament.